On today's episode of Watch JR Go, we are here with an abandoned Model A. It looks a little less abandoned than it did a minute ago. And we're gonna try to get this thing running. What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go, and like I said, we are here with this 1930 Model A that was totally restored, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago? You got a time frame, Eric? A while ago, yeah. A long time ago. And the restoration work on this thing is beautiful. It is first rate. Take a look at this. If, look at how the windows run. This this tells you everything you need to know. Okay, they're, for being this giant solid metal surrounded glass, super nice. Anyway, it's a really nice Model A restoration. Now this thing, the old owner unfortunately passed away and then it got passed on through their family and ended up in storage over here at Eric's, which is why you guys have seen this thing sitting in the back for, what, a year, two years? Two years. Two years. It's been, uh, so it, it's been like almost 10 years or something like that since this thing's really been running. Fuel's old, battery's toast. Uh, it's got an old, old battery in it. Date stamp 15, I think. It was it, 15? Yeah, I think you have to you crawl under it. I so what's that? Like two of 15. Eight years ago when they put a battery in it? Yeah. I don't know if it ran eight years ago, but possibly it did. Well, it's been moved around and it just hasn't really been back on the road or running in a very long time. So, Eric and I just pulled it out here with the lawnmower. We just used a tow strap, pulled it on out into the street. And we know for a fact, the battery's totally dead. I did hook my battery charger up to it right before we drug it out of here. And it just showed error every time. We were able to override that, but still, who knows if this thing will take a charge. So. We're gonna get the battery out right now. We're gonna to head to O'Reilly's, get a new battery, and see if it'll start. Now it's a Model A, Model T. These old things, it's an old four cylinder setup. Very, very simple, both of them are. And honestly, it should start right up. And we already did dump new gas in it too. So we're a little bit ahead of the curve here. And I dumped the old gas out of the float bowl as well. So I'll show you guys that right now. Let's come over here. This thing has some really cool stuff because they kind of built it to be a show Model A. So pop open the hood here. You gotta lift up the little spring latches. And when you lift this thing up, check it out. They added this thing on here. Flip that over and you can set the hood on there. So you've got these big like wings. Now, unfortunately, if a windstorm comes up and you're at a car show, your restoration's kind of game over. But as you can see, this thing is very clean inside. If we open the hood all the way up carefully, set that guy right there. You can see it's got that cool exhaust manifold that runs along here with this heating system. And this heating system is the preheat for the air intake on this. Now I know today all we want is colder air because we've got fuel injection. But back in the day, you would want to warm up your fuel air mixture a little bit as it went in. And that's exactly what this giant iron log does. So coil, distributor, the spark plug wires. If you, I mean, you can clearly see it's just a piece of copper. That's all it is. And very simple other than that, single bowl carburetor. The fuel valve, uh, I got it to move. It took a lot of time. So I was working it back and forth and I honestly don't wanna to try to work it back and forth anymore because I don't wanna be the one who breaks that eventually. But I do think the fuel valve, the fuel tank's right here. The valve is right down here inside the cabin. And I got that turned and we got fresh fuel into the bowl. So we've gotten that far. Let's get the battery out of here, get over to O'Reilly's, swap it out. It's a six volt battery and Hopefully after that, it starts. And if it doesn't start, maybe we'll give it a little pull or push and uh, we'll see if she'll start up after that. But I think we'll have some good luck with this thing. Either way, it's a really, really clean restoration, as you can see. I think the, the coolest part is the- uh, Jump seat. <clears throat> so you got the steps. You got the steps. And you, got, you can step from here on the back bumper onto your fender step. And you also, this one has a nice chrome luggage rack too. Well, and we have, I don't have it. Flips out. But they do have the luggage. Oh, that wow. Belongs. So the luggage that belongs with this car yeah. is at Kyle's parents' oh, place. So these are the latches for yeah. the luggage rack. So you so pop these guys right here. They have, I can't confirm if it's the original luggage, but it is like a period correct luggage for this car. There you go. There's your luggage rack. They didn't want them sitting outside or oh, like in, course. so they're they're yeah. in their house, yeah. So then you flip this back up and it's got little latches that catch this to make sure it doesn't flop down while you're getting beat up going down the road as you typically do in these little things. But even that seats, like fitting in there would be impossible for me. 
<laughs> oh yeah, but you got, of course, you have the back bumper step here, yeah. and then you got your step on the fender, which I'm not going to put any weight on, and then you usually just stand in the seat and hop in, yeah. but the jump seat is one of the cleanest jump seats I've ever seen on one yeah. of these. Um, it has been sitting under a cover all these years. All these years, it's been under a car cover, still covered in dust, obviously, but I mean, pretty clean when you pull out an abandoned car that was inside under a cover. So all we gotta do is get this thing running. First start up in 10 years or so. I do like the orange wheels. The, the orange wheels look great. The white wall. They look great. All right, flip this guy back over here. We got the Ugo horn up here. I'm pretty sure it's an Ugo. We'll find out once we get some power to it. We got these big old headlights, and this one has these marker lights up here that are also really cool. And I, I assume everything works. So we'll find out here once we get some power to the thing. Oil. This is a Spartan, Spark, Sparks Worthington Co. Spartan horn. Every label on it is just brand new looking. This is was this, probably all done. Is this changed? Is that? You know, I don't know if that's stock or not. I'm pretty sure ours has. I know our T's have the um, temp gauge right there. Yeah. I don't know if the bird is a stock thing or. Wow. It even has uh, wipers on this. Trico wiper motor. Pretty cool. And it looks like it's vacuum operated. Nope. It's push operated. Oh, it's electric. Look at that. It's the power. It's got to be electric, yeah. There's yeah. a switch. There's a, there's a. Is this a cable going in from this over here? Yeah, it looked like a vacuum hose. It is I a vacuum hose. No, it is a vacuum hose. It's got to be a vacuum hose. It sure is. Huh? Well, there's a switch to turn it on and off. Cool. Interesting. Let's get this battery out of here. Yes, sir. All right, guys. We should have this battery out. This battery is old and bulged out. So let's see if I can grip it and rip it. <laughs> Finger tip holding. Oh, I'm gonna break my nose. It's a good thing we filled it full of water. <laughs> we did try putting some water in it. Didn't it? Didn't work. Ah. Okay, she's coming out. Anyway, must weigh a ton. Yeah, we do have we do have all the floors and everything for this. And as soon as we get a new battery, we'll put it all back together. But we we kind of got ahead of the game. We should have started recording earlier. But we tried to just jump in and start it. But then we were like, you know what? It's taken a while, we might as well make a video about this. So let's head over to O'Reilly's. Hopefully they got a six volt in stock. Look how these doors shut, guys. When I'm telling you the restoration's good, the rest of them don't shut like that. That is crazy nice. It's even got two, two notches. Whew. All right, pretty good old restoration. And uh, as soon as we're done with this, in case you're wondering, we don't own it. It's actually headed to California on a transporter. And maybe somebody out there will actually get to enjoy this thing and drive it. We're gonna drive it for research purposes. Yeah, for research purposes only. <laughs> just to make sure. All right guys, we just showed up to O'Reilly's, but I gotta say there's something cooler at O'Reilly's than this Model A. Check out this old fire truck. That is sick. Billet wheels. It's an old Mac. That is super cool. Light. Oh, look at that. They've got all the brand. Oh, it's bagged. Wow. I wondered with those dually billet wheels on there if it was bagged. That is sick. Well, let's go find a battery. All right, we got everything doing. Oil change for Eric's truck, and we got our six volt battery. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Oh, man, multitasking right there. I like it. Do you guys know a six volt battery is just called a series one? So we got ourselves a one. Part number one. That's actually part number one. That's impressive. They all have these, seem to have these ridges on them compared to 12 volt, which has flat. Yep. Flat sides. All right, we're back with our series one. It's actually part number one. I wonder what the highest part number our other side of this. Infinity. Can't be beat. Can never be stopped. Nothing Maybe. stands in the way of progress. What? I just figured we went too Gabe on that. Oh, a little too, uh, too dad joke? <clears throat> yeah, too, <laughs> too Gabe. <laughs> I don't see how that guy doesn't have his own shirt. He does, he's got, 
I, I assume all of those are his own shirts. Uh, does he make them? <laughs> no. I guess I've never seen him before. Yeah. Is he the last guy to shop at Hot he, Topic? Gabe invented dad jokes, bro. He's the best at them. <laughs> I think he's the only guy that shops at Hot Topic. I just don't want to put this in. It's such a nightmare to put this battery in. Yeah, let me get under my steering wheel here and I'm <laughs> contort my back. Ugh, all right, I'm going. Here we go. I'll do about anything to avoid it. You need the red to go to the other side. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Good call. I saw the chassis cable and said no. Yeah, that's. If you do it the other way, it won't go 88 miles an hour. <laughs> that's. I thought that was if we didn't have a Mr. Blender or whatever that is. I have no idea. What's the thing called on the back of the car? Mr. Yeah. Fusion. Yeah, there Mr. You go. Fusion. Okay. Yeah, you knocked it apart. Yeah, buddy. All right, we got this big ground strap right here that goes to the positive side on the old Model A. And now we can put in our battery hold down. You After gotta explain what <coughs> reverse polarity is. Uh, positive mean. ground, sorry. <laughs> Negative ground. That's a, that's a double reverse polarity. Yeah, that's right. That's when you <laughs> don't understand that at all. You gotta reverse it or reverse it again. That's when you know you got the battery set up right. Now, on this thing, it has a positive ground system. So the positive post on the battery is going straight to the chassis. So, you know, if you find a car like this and it's hooked up like that, you should probably keep it like that. Now, a lot of times you can flip the field in the generator by just like tapping it on the positive once or twice, but a little bit sketchy and you might have a problem if you don't get it right. Well, you will have a problem if you don't get it right. Let's be honest. All right, let me tighten this thing down. This is a 916 and I could get the right tool, but it really doesn't take too long to tighten it all down by hand. So I'll get back with you guys here in just a moment. This one tightened down by hand and we should be good to go here. All right, battery's connected. Hopefully everything's good. I guess we'll find out. Just turn the key on. I don't hear anything. Oh, God. That goes through the whole neighborhood. That thing is loud, dude. <laughs> Do it, see if it catches it. You are not kidding. <laughs> that? Do the lights work? Those two are on, yeah, and these two are on. Cool. Full lights. All right, let's see if she'll start. <clears throat> Only one thing left to do. That's about it. <laughs> What's our... the sequence of events here? New trail, clutch, step on the starter. Well, you were explaining earlier is you have... Well, this is the choke. Choke, and then down there... Handbrake. What's this I, thing down here? I think here? that's just a footrest. Yeah. Oh, that's the starter. Oh, well, we were trying this earlier and that didn't do anything. What's this thing right here? Oh, this is the fuel shut off. Okay. All right, let's see. It, cr it cranks over. I don't think the throttle connected to anything. Well, I guess our little pull star where we pulled it in gear pulled some of that fuel in because it started instantly. <laughs> That bowl looks a million times better. Yeah, it's nice and clean now. That it was so yellow. It was pure yellow. All right. Why do we not have a throttle here? So this one's timing, right? Yep. I, I touched it and it sprung back. So this needs to go back on that bell. Oh, I see. Wow, that thing is just needs work. gummed up, man. Yeah. Gummed it's up. Ethanol, well, ethanol fuel. But yeah, it is ethanol fuel. Yep. Okay. So but that's much better than it just was. There's our linkage. Oh, much better. When you had it just a second ago, it was and you're pulling it barely moved. Okay, so hopefully this works now. Let me, I'm gonna pull that foot throttle all the way off. Sounds good, it's just, you know, 8,000 RPMs. <laughs> okay, so that throttle's all the way off right there. Right, okay, here we go, try it again. Ready? Yep. Out of gear. Oh, there you go. I really don't think it should have started that easy. But it I mean, sure honestly, did not do anything no. The only thing we did that you guys didn't see was this was completely like varnished out. Yep. And then he opened the, the tank and it was empty, so we just put fuel in it. Put fuel in. Dumped it. out the nasty fuel. 
and then we did try to pull it so we probably sucked some fuel into the car but it sure lit off like nothing else I think it wouldn't run when we pull started it because it had no voltage to start the coil. Yeah, yeah I think so. That battery was very, very swollen. She was done. And if you looked at the bottom of it, there was acid around the holder, so. All right. There were no more cycles to be given. I don't, I don't know, could you even, the six volts even have like one good deep cycle in them? No, uh, you could probably desulfate that battery, make it run. Maybe add some acid. That one didn't have anything to it. Let's try to drive this thing. Yeah. You sitting in the front or the back? See if you go see the gears. Yeah, I guess we haven't tried that. There's reverse. reverse. Now reverse. We popped the seat back out and we're putting the floor back in. Obviously these have that big wooden floor and this one's actually really nice. It's a nice piece of like uh, a stained wood and it also is completely lined with felt to keep the vibrations down. So that's nice. And there's a battery access door put in. So we've got to put all these screws back in. There's a ton of them and we'll be, we'll be good to go with our new battery. So these little tabs hold in the shifter cover, which sits in there about like that. Pretty cool. There you go, we got the interior back in it. Looks great with the carpet. And uh, you know, seats look good. This is just really nice. So we're gonna start it back up and take it for one more little drive. I love how that carpet looks. I like the color too. This kid just tried to put his seatbelt on. This is 1930, dude. Seatbelts are 19, like 60, 70. I just looked over here. <laughs> I saw you reach back. Man. I was like, it's back here. Yep, trying to start it up again. Let's hopefully she runs great. This thing is excellent. Excellent. Ooh. Am I in e brake? I am. There it goes. Okay. No backup camera. Alright, let's take her out for a rip. A very slow 30 mile an hour rip. <laughs> I didn't even have to double clutch. As you guys know, this is an old unsynchronized gearbox. I've made videos on Model A's before. Get the mirror all adjusted. I still can't see anything. No Model power mirrors. No power mirrors. Anyway, um, unsynchronized gearbox. So you sometimes, or should, probably double clutch. But that one was just a nice, simple shift. Well, other than the fact that it's uh, leaking a little bit of water uh, coolant around the water pump seals up here, this thing runs amazing. It drove it around the neighborhood a few times and it really does run like a sewing machine. So what a cool old 1930 Ford Model A. So that was a lot of fun bringing it back from the dead and it didn't take much at all, honestly. Fresh fuel, new battery, give it a quick pull to suck some fuel through it and she started right up. So. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchchairrego.com for cool shirts just like this. And please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. We get to start up a new engine that's much bigger and uh, way more horsepower and goes in the water, and it's this, this boat right here, this this Ford boat. You gotta hire your new cameraman. Well, yeah, yeah, but he, he won't want to go in the boat. How much pay do you the require? Ford boat. What were you asking? Yeah, what's your, what's your hourly rate? One dollar. Hired, here. <laughs> and fired, give me the camera back. <laughs> I only owe you two pennies now. <laughs>